Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Is the sound clear? Right. Shall I start? Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ahmed Bektesh and I'm going to serve as your opposition group for today. To start off, I would like to stress upon the fact, as stated by my deputy opposition leader, there's no such thing as a winner in a war. War costs everyone prices, and humanity is an entity pays the dearest prices. In this sense, it's those who progress the most and recover the fastest are those who consider to be the winners, as stated by my deputy opposition leader, and also uh, as stated by a uh, member of opposition, that what governs victory is performance and results. I shall be summarizing our points in my speech, as well as refuting the astonishing claims made by the government. To begin with, I would like to address the Prime Minister and uh, I, I seem to recall a quote, he said, uh, it's an Arab-Israeli war. But if it was so, how is it that Egypt individually lost? I don't understand this particular point. Why do you objectify Egypt and disregard other countries? If you said it was an Arab Israeli war. Furthermore, I shall, uh, I shall prove how we won the battle and the war. Because if I if I recall correctly, the motion stated that uh, our role here was to prove that we did not lose. But as I see from our arguments, we proved, and we, I shall summarize how we did that we actually won the war. The, uh... Yes, the, uh, please. Uh, at the, the beginning of your speech, you just said that there is no winner in, in wars. How, how are you arguing this? I also said that uh, a winner in a war is government or victory is governed by uh, progression and performance as well as results. Uh,
So, according to your logic, strategically, we won the war. I love the point made by yourself, the Deputy Prime Minister, and I shall address them at the moment. Uh, I love how you portrayed the war and metaphorically suggested that it's a street fight, which is in no way close. However, it is not that, or it's not you, that lose the last punch wins the war, or the fight, it is this, it is the uh, he who delivers the strongest blow who wins the war, and we did it initially, and at the, at the end of the war, by signing the peace treaty. And the, the astonishing thing that the, the address, you addressed the peace treaty as if it was devilish. It wasn't. It was strategic, a strategic way, as addressed by our opposition. It was a, on the long term, it was a total win. It was an economic win. It was a political win. If we, if we were the one losing, why did they accept? Also, uh, you seem to be repeating the fact that uh, they had uh, certain infantry in our lands uh, uh, surrounding the Third Army. Uh, well, you seem to forget that the same infantry who were in our lands are the same infantry who went back and withdrew when Senet pursued the peace treaty before them. And also, if we were to play this game, we would say that, well, at the beginning, our entire air force was over there destroying them and did, uh, and they enforced the initial law to the war. And uh, the government will, uh, stated that Uh, the, go the, go the government group stated that uh, they, they, they would destroy our third army. I seem to remember that my member of opposition stated that there were only a few numbers compared to our third army. We could have simply stopped them. But according to my deputy opposition leader, we pursue peace. And peace is the ultimate victory in the war. And that's why we win the war once more.